Hey guys, Lambo here again, and I'm um, doing another video. And uh, I finally got my DX09, guys. And uh, I got it from a Hong Kong seller called uh, Song Song 82114. They're a new company on eBay. Uh, definitely check them out. Um, so tell them Lambo sent you, and they'll hook you up with a good deal. As you can see here, brand new mint. Uh, bag and it doesn't have any folds so that's good he packed it up really well everything bubble wrapped and uh, it's just a fantastic seller also came with um, the shipper box here and um, alright guys let's dive into this review and uh, let's sh let me show you the box alright guys so here's the front of the box it has a nice uh, Michael Keaton uh, Batman here, 89 Batman DX09. Opening it up here has um, the ad for the Batmobile coming soon, which I'm not going to get. <laughs> um, opening up here is a little bio. You can pause if you want, read it. And um, here is the bat signal. Um, hold on. That's pretty cool, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, take this off. Um, here we go, guys. Here's the extra expression. It's the battle damaged uh, and the smirking. I'm gonna take it off. I'll show you guys um, when I do a closer look on the figure. Opening this side comes all the accessories. Okay. Here we go. The cape's in there, but I took the figures outside, guys. So I'll show you in a second. Here's all the little accessories. I'll get into closer detail there. Okay, guys. So let me um, review the figure. All right, guys. So here's uh, Keaton himself, 89 Batman. What a f what an amazing figure, guys. Um, just probably one of this is the best Batman out there, hands down. Um, just amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, just there's nothing I could say wrong with this figure. Oh, here's the 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 seam. In person, guys, it doesn't look uh, that bad. Um, I did do this review on an iPhone, and I had all the footage and everything, but. Um, something went wrong and I can't upload it. it I feel, I feel, it sucks because I had everything on that review. It was perfect. The quality was amazing. But, um, oh well. Um, let me just get a close-up here, guys. Alright, guys. So here's a close-up. Um, <laughs> guys, this is just a badass piece. This is definitely my favorite figure right now. Um, I mean, look at the shadows and the, the the makeup under the eyes. It actually looks like makeup, unla unlike the Bale Batman's. In person, guys, this logo right here is um, uh, an orangish yellow. On camera, it looks like it's uh, yellow, just a uh, bright yellow, but it's not. Um, by the way, when I opened this, uh, when I got him out of the box, his one of his fins were broken on his gauntlets so um, I had to uh, super glue it it wasn't hard so be careful guys um, yeah so here's like the leather texture of the cape which they got it nailed down um, uh, here is the other expression um, it's a smirking expression which is really cool. Oops. And um, here is 
his battle damaged expression. People say it looked like ketchup, <laughs> um, but uh, it looks pretty cool. They could have done better. They could have at least added like shards of uh, like plastic in there, like glass. But uh, oh well. Um, going up here to the accessories. <clears throat> we got the spear gun, which is magnetic, and it folds. We got here all the three gas mechanisms, the pneumatic mangler type thing, uh, bat uh, remote for the car, Batmobile car, two um, ninja stars, I'm not sure what this is, and the line launcher which is just badass guys. Uh, these parts move, and here is the um, batarang. Um, oh yeah, one more thing here. There is plastic rods in this. I cut a, a little bit of the cape so it can fit in. Um, you can like t do his iconic uh, cape pose and everything. But uh, this is not a review, guys. Pretty much an overview. If you want a really good review, definitely check out the Clipper King's review. It's one of the best out there. Quality is perfect. He, he, does, he goes down to every single thing uh, in this figure. and. Uh, yeah, just check it out, guys. So, um, that pretty much wraps everything up. Oh, um, yeah, it comes with a Batman nameplate like the DX02 and DX01. And the color of this uh, base is actually pretty good. I remember in pictures I hated the design, but it was actually pretty good. Um, they did not include the Nike swoosh on the shoe. Hold on. Um, they didn't include the Nike swoosh on the shoe because of licensing issues, but that's fine. But uh, yeah, guys, like I said, it's just an overview. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. Definitely recommend this figure. Um, peace.